welcome my friends i hope you're all doing well today we're going to check out the new gameplay trailer over at ign for the day before the new survival game we've covered previously on the channel and the new gameplay came out uh, so without further ado let's press play and check it out first thing we see here is some driving two different trucks here doing some off-roading next to a lake and it looks very much, as you'll see just in a moment, like Mud Runner or Snow Runners, the actual mud deformation. Uh, you would be uh, mistaken, and I wouldn't blame you, but this actually was Mud Runners or Snow Runners. Uh, so potential to get your vehicle stuck, I guess, with this. I don't know how far they'll take that mechanic, but this is something I've said years ago as well. I would like to have seen in Daisy or a Survivor game, and here it is. I would also like to say from the get-go here, Take everything with a pinch of salt. We've all been uh, been here before and been super hyped for a game, and it's been a letdown, so don't get your hopes up too much. We're just analyzing this for what it is, uh, making a conversation below in the comments section, and uh, we'll just have to get it in our hands before we make a final kind of decision on what this game is and whether this was real or not, what we're actually watching here, because it seems too good to be true. Here we see a downed plane, and look at this physics. Suspension, nice sound effects as that vehicle hits the ground there, going through that crashed plane. A little bit more thick mud here. Uh, yet to be seen whether we can actually explore all of this forest wooded area here. There we go. We get a proper look now at the mud deformation, which looks very similar to Mud Runners. Very similar. Just up ahead here a little bit, we do pop two tires on the left side of this truck. I'm not sure if there was something on the ground just here that popped the tires. I didn't see anything, but both tires on this side of the vehicle pop there. Later on in the video, we do see this player or this character repair those two tires to carry on driving, but they've stopped off at what looks like a gas station here to gather some loot, I guess. And they spotted another vehicle down there, which tells us potentially, uh, you know, could be another player around maybe or vehicle for parts and that's the other driver of the vehicle there really nice vehicles in this so far i'm pretty impressed with the the vehicles if this is the case of course a lot of people have comparisons with this with the division days gone a lot of things said about that that gun going off there and and all those shots missed Load more zombies running from around behind the gas station. Been alerted by the gunshots here. Now, taken from those shots, could be exaggerated. I've mentioned this in our Discord. We've been talking about this since the trailer came out. The gameplay could be exaggerated to make, you know, look real. But actually, it is very heavily scripted still, this gameplay. We don't know until we've got it in our hands. So we won't make a final decision, as I've said, until we've actually played it ourselves. Being a bit sneaky here, quiet. Let's know if there's any more zombies approaching. Is that Loca Cola on that on that lorry? So this should be an MMO survival game, which I, I should think it'll be. A lot of other players pvp i really hope and i hope it doesn't take the route that division took with the pvp areas the dark zones i hope it's it's uh, map wide uh, potential for, for, for being attacked by other players other survivors turning the power on in the gas station here we get music on which is a nice touch. I've always liked this search mechanic. State of Decay has it. So you go through and make a noise while you're looting. Makes more sense, I guess, doing it this way. There he's found a toolbox, which I think is what he may use in a bit to repair that truck. We do get a nice look of the inventory screen there as well. While the player is looting the gas station checking out the till there as well getting some money a watch 
some other items. Taking note of what's in the inventory space there. Looks to be carrying an AK of some sort as well. Right, he's heading back to his vehicle now. So this is where he repairs. So we press G, 60%. Must be the damage of the vehicle currently. Down to 60%. And we are using isolate, tape, metal, and a toolbox to repair. Still at 60%. We're just going to hold G and repair. Oh, there we go. Pop up those tires. Press an old F to get back in the vehicle. Okay. Going to carry on down the road now. And they come to a house on a farm, I believe, just further down the road. So that must be, I guess they were checking that out with the binoculars. Must be another drivable vehicle. So, like I said, could be maybe scavenge parts from that. Or maybe players could have been nearby. Oh, this is sketchy, but it does look good. That uh, river down there with the rapids and crossing this sketchy bridge. So, again, like I've said, not sure if this whole area is explorable and PvP could happen. Like, uh, you know, a, a trap could happen with other players down here. An ambush from the cliff sides. Checking out the farm buildings up ahead. We see a windmill, a barn. Looks clear. In the bottom right there, we see our fuel gauge as well. Roughly half a tank. On the bottom left, we see a temperature gauge, I guess. Energy, which I guess may be food and hydration, as well as a health. Uh, possibly on the bottom there, the white bar. Not sure what the blue bar is below the white bar. Or the white bar on the bottom right. Maybe damage a vehicle. Let's see if that changes. So it's disappeared when it's out of vehicle. So it could be the damage bar for the vehicle. We've got our ammo count on the bottom right there. 30 rounds in a mag and 34 rounds spare. And through this field here. Nice physics interaction with the foliage. Or foliage interaction I should say. Ooh, carcass. So don't don't feel uh, feel free to pop in the comments anything we've missed in this analysis walkthrough and live commentary of the day before gameplay. There's probably loads I'm going to be missing, but we can all watch it back again and see what we've missed and think, hey, maybe that's pretty cool. Ooh, that that's probably not going to actually be a thing because it's too good to be true, which I think this whole thing just seems too good to be true, to be fair. So as I've said, you know, don't get too hyped. We feel, we've feel we all been heartbroken before when an awesome game like this has come to. Actually, we could because we're watching this live, couldn't we? Watch that back. And we can see he's got this AK variant, a cap, so you can change your body items, your clothing, your backpack, your secondary weapon. In here, we've got some papers, soda, water bottles, looks like ammunition, ammunition, a bag of nuts, some scrap metal, an MRE, some juice. We've got a camcorder here, which is very interesting. Um, maybe scavenge for parts or something. And you've got a tape here, tape player, a cigarettes, um, ID badge. That looks like, actually, I thought it was money, but it's an ID badge and a watch, which we got from the gas station earlier on in the video. So very interesting. We could take a closer look at the inventory there. Nice and clean. Not too complicated. We heard some zombies as well somewhere around the area. Oh, got mannequins about in this house. I'd have instantly opened fire though if that was me. Oh, the alarm for the house. Disarm that. Oh, that could be sketchy if that goes off. Oh, there we go. Mistakes were made, my friend. So 
Okay, so they can bash on the doors and bash through the doors. That, that zombie actually broke through the door. That's pretty cool. Now, we've set that alarm off. Not only zombies, but... It looks like other players, other survivors are attracted shortly to this farmhouse. And we get to see some more things in detail here. You know, we can uh, speculate a little bit more on some uh, game features. Taking out those last of the infected. Check the rest of the house. A lot of detail in the areas. So, I'm not sure what engine this is being built in. Um, I would say Unreal. I've seen some of the things that look very Unreal, Telltale kind of effects, graphics, if that makes sense. But I could be wrong on that. So, please correct me if I'm wrong. And here we go, approaching vehicles. We see a police car down here. And if we pause again, we can see it looks like a blower coming out the bonnet of this vehicle here. We also see uh, reinforcements. It looks like metal grids or grates on the windscreen of the car. We can see as they approach the police car here as well has a metal grate or a grid or chicken wire on the front windscreen. Looks like they've been reinforced, modified. And the side windows as well there on that truck. So potentially you could do that yourself with crafting, upgrade and modify vehicles. As the vehicles we see these two original players driving look pretty standard. But these two other players we can see here they're checking out the front as the players we are observing exit the rear. And they stop just there checking it out and, and slowly approaching. So PvP here. Which, uh, you know, one thing I did mention in the Discord as well. So jump in the Discord for more conversation as well if you want to or in the comment section below. Is that, you know, they checked that vehicle earlier at the gas station. Could have been worrying about players and then the farm. Players have arrived. So PvP map wide. Maybe, maybe not. They're entering a bunker here and this is where the trailer ends. The gameplay ends. Closing off this bunker. Leaving those other players to check out the house and uh, the alarm going off. Go downstairs with some creepy noises. And the trailer for the gameplay ends. And there we go. So, pretty much, you know, w there's a lot of questions. There's a lot of questions. And of course, do not get your hypes up. Do not get too hyped. The vehicle there that the player was checking out. Could have maybe been a player. Could have just been checking it out, you know, for infected or possible loot location for repairing their vehicle. And uh, when the other players turned up. Um, this awesome stuff, though. And like I said, too good to be true to me. This This seems like... You know, it, it, it could be the survival game that a lot of people have, have said, just especially with that, those vehicle physics at the beginning here. Just blows my mind that they've got something like that in with a world with zombie AI and, and PvP and the MMO playstyle of the survival genre. Just all in one package, just with this amount of detail and this deep foliage we can see here in the wooded areas. As I've said, so much more that, to speculate on whether we can explore the whole map, whether PvP is worldwide, or is there certain zones that's lootable and, and PvP is in those specific zones and there's safe zones, trade areas. We, we don't know any of that yet. And of course, we don't even know if this is real or just a prototype and we're just being strung along. I really hope not. But let me know in the comments section below. We're checking out the day before. Gameplay reveal here. Thanks to IGN for this gameplay. Check out the original, as it will be slightly higher quality. I think it's only 1080p. So, I apologize for the quality. But anyway, I love you all. Don't forget to hit like on the video. Let's talk about this. Stay safe, and I'll see you peeps next time.